Hello everyone, I am Heba Hassan from GFX Academy. Today we will talk about how to use the smart vector tools in your uh, shots in order to remove some painting tracking inside your video very quickly, very easily and very handy. How to do that? Well, we talk about uh, smart vector tools in details in a previous video. So now we will go through it to use it in another uh, another task here on another video so we will use it for example to remove these paint tools here right here for example in order to uh, just remove it uh, so we will drag these points and that and then remove using the pen tool so let's add here um, frame hold Okay, but before we hold it, let's choose which frame to hold according to my animation. So if we have a look here, we have a, a small animation going from down to up. So um, I think that 15 will be a good frame to be stop up there. So let's go to frame hold and ask it to hold 15 frame. And then start painting our shot. I'll not talk in detail about painting. You just have to remove these marks quickly. Okay, so let's clone it. Up here, for example. Let's take this, this one here. Of course, it needs more time to do it. Let's pretend that we did it in a good way. Okay, and let's remove that one too. And let's take this one too. Okay, so now I have finished. Uh, painting for example of course it needs more detail but uh, I don't care for now it's not a painting class okay so now I need to get a mask from this painting you know how some of you know the secret place to get a mask from your painting to be in the alpha channel just go to that arrow here and you will find masks so I need to input Sorry, to output all of these mask, uh, clones into a different mask in the alpha channel. So here I do have, when I go to A, I have the four marks of my painting tool. Now I need to get the motion of the, the source video. So I'll go here quickly to my time to my smart vector and as you know connected here just have a look of course it asks for the file so let's go to choose where file to put so add a file for example paint okay and uh, another one called paint dot one two three or maybe four dot exr open and now it asks for rendering if you need more details you can lower the vector details but i don't need it here in my video so just go to render you just go to do your things and then be back after it finishes rendering okay now it finished here my rendering and of course i don't need it anymore i just need the result or the render so go to render sorry and come back to my paint here as we see my paint result open
and of course I need to go to my transform and my vector distort my vector distort here will smart vector this I need to tell him that this is my motion and my source is my paint now let's have a look here yeah great now here I have finished painting and I add it to my video but if we play here that's very very nice oh yeah great very very good remember if you do have a lot of marks here if you don't have that result then go to roto paint check all sorry check all your clones and make sure that in your lifetime it's in the old frames it may cause a problem here so be sure make sure of that here I have a problem my background here or my chroma is being distorted with this I don't want it I just need uh, to add this painting on my uh, main video how to do this well because I have here an alpha if you know here I can use it in order to be added to my video so just go to pre multiply here and now here I have uh, my pre multiplied of course it will not be animated because I have a frame hold now I need to merge this uh, painting on the top of my main video so let's just take this from here to my pre multiply and now I need another merge merge this one here on the top of my main video now let's have a look let's enjoy it great as you see in this uh, than 10 minutes we just take off all of these marks right there and um, add it to my main video without any effort just to use the distort uh, information of my main video and another painting tools uh, of my video just to add it in order to get get that result but sometimes you may have some issues you may have a long video or you may have some problems of your uh, main um, chroma so what to do how to solve this you some cases you need more painting for example I need to paint these tools and another paint one or another roto paint nude one in order to do this and I need to merge both of them in my video so in order to deal with certain videos with the complex um, painting or needs mere more than one uh, operation like this we will talk about that in details, how to deal with this in details in the next video, inshallah. See you soon. Hope you like this video. Goodbye.